using the Allen Brain Atlas image viewers. Each of these resources contain viewers to inspect image data. Let's start with the mouse image viewers, which are registered into the Common Coordinate Framework, before we look into the human image data viewers, which have a different way of determining the spatial location in the brain. From the Mouse Brain Atlas, performing a search will return a list of genes meeting the criteria of your search. Selecting the experiment ID will take you to the gene page where you'll see the metadata for the experiment, a three-dimensional preview of the gene expression, and the main image viewer. Each thumbnail from the image series is along the bottom of the image viewer. Clicking a thumbnail will open that section in the main viewer. Use the on-screen navigation or the shortcut keys to zoom and pan through the images. The drop-down menu gives you access to the expression mask, which is a background subtraction algorithm, which colorizes the expression from cooler color for low expression to the hotter redder colors for high expression. To be able to match the gene expression to the anatomy, click the high resolution image viewer icon. This takes you to a new window from which you can open the reference atlas. Selecting a new region in the window requires just clicking on this icon to sync the other image to the same location. Note the artifacts on this slide. It's important that you determine what is biological when exploring the data. The image data is qualitative, although people want to put numbers to the expression. This histogram is a semi-quantitative analysis within an experiment and calls out the regions with highest expression. If you'd like to understand the expression patterns, the gene sequence used to create the probe is also included. If you have further questions, you can send us a message by clicking this link. If you publish this data, please check here to cite. The Developing Mouse Brain Atlas has very similar tools, and to demonstrate looking at multiple experiments simultaneously, we'll use this atlas. Clicking the gene symbol brings up a gene page showing many experiments. From that page, or the search returns page, you can click on the checkboxes next to an experiment to load your cart. Clicking View Selections will open a window with an experiment viewer for all the experiments in your cart. You can rearrange your desktop and add reference atlases from the interactive bits in the top right-hand corner. And in this instance, clicking the sync icon once you've found a region will sync all the experiments to that location. In the developing mouse brain resource, that also means syncing to that location in time. Note that in this atlas, when you sync back in time, you can see the genesis and migration of new neurons. For human image data, there is no common brain space, so another method is used to determine the location in the brain. Once you've found a gene to inspect, click on the experiment ID, and you'll be taken to a page with similar features, metadata, a preview of the general area, and a list of the data from this specimen. You are already presented with a side-by-side -side missile view. You can browse through the images, note the automatic syncing, and to note the data really should be viewed zoomed in to appreciate the high resolution. In the NISL image, there are hotspots indicating manual annotation of the image to indicate the structure.